Okay, so this chair that I'm getting ready to recover, look at all the crap that's coming out of it. This is all that they had it packed with. The springs are crazy. I gotta get all of this out and off and start over. You got a metal piece hanging out here. You got staples galore. This stuff, springs. It's just oh, massive, massive job. But I'll get her done and turn it into something really cute. And all my born days, I've never seen a chair put together like this. This is the springs. They were in there, tied together with rope, with all this stuff, stuffing in here. So my next step is to get all of this out and get it thrown away. And then we'll see where we're at with it. So as you can see, I'm taking it apart. First thing I'm doing is ripping all of this off the bottom and this part here so I can sand that wood and make it look halfway decent again before I start putting anything back on it. And I'm almost done with that part and I'll let you know what I do next. So recovering old furniture can sometimes be easy and sometimes be a mess. This is a mess. So I have managed to get every staple and nail off of the outside rim of the bottom. See how many staples were in there? Um, yeah, they're they're gone. They're gone. They're no, they're no longer on this part. So I'm going to sand this part next so that I can at least have it halfway ready for me to be able to put my own staples or whatever in it and then once I get that done I will start to disassemble the top of it. I'll bring you back to see what it looks like after I sand it. So this is the difference in what it looks like after I've sanded it. You can see that it still has all the holes in it but it's nice and smooth and just a better finish. And this is the part that hasn't been sanded. So yeah, you can see the difference. This is smooth. This is rough, really rough. And I just like my finishes to be nice and smooth as I go along. Just clean it up and re redo it. It's a lot of work and you don't make much off of it, but to me, it's a hobby. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy transforming the ugly gross ready for the trash, as long as it's not, you know, gross, gross. Um, you know, just, uh, I don't want anything that has bugs in it or nothing like that, but no, this is not. This is just old, 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 and refinished, 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 and now it's time for it to get refinished again by somebody that enjoys it. So I'll bring you back after I get all the this bottom sanded and then we'll move to the top. So I have pulled all the stables. Whoops, I see one over here. And I've sanded this off. I have sanded the legs. Now I'm getting ready to get all this crap out and turn it up and start stripping the top. So everything is out of the middle of it. I got all the nails and everything swept up with this vac. And now next job is going to be to go around the bottom outside of the chair and remove all of these staples all the way around. Pull this fabric back and then see where we go next. So that will be the next thing. As soon as I've got those all pulled out, I'll bring you back. Keep in mind that I've already pulled this out of it. So, I'm wondering if there's going to be any chair left by the time I get through taking it apart, destructing it. So, this is what I'm working on next, is trying to get the front of this lifted up. It's so many layers, and it's 
so many staples and nails. As you can see, look at all of that. It's just a complete mess. I can only do like a section at a time and then I should be able to lift all of this up and then that should just leave the back. So, no, I did not want to just go over the top of this and cover it because of this mess. You can't sell something like this or reuse something like this and feel right about it. Uh, you got to strip it down. So, I'll continue to work on this and then I'll let you know when I do something else. So, this is where I'm at today. You can see I've made it to the back. This is what kind of mess we're dealing with here. All this has to be ripped off. This is some kind of metal thing they've got on here. I have no idea what it is. It has to be ripped off. You can just see the mess. This is quite a job, guys. It is quite a job. I have never seen anything like this, ever. This chair is going to be deconstructed if it's the last thing I do before I die. I am determined to get this done. It is so, I mean, just like, look at all of this. It's just unbelievable, unbelievable. I have never seen a chair like this. I guess it's just from years and years of doing it on top of each other. I don't do that. I take everything out and start over fresh with my own, own everything. I don't reuse any of this. So, just giving you an idea of what I'm dealing with. It's going to still take a while just to get this apart before I can even start putting it back together. So, I'm out in the screen room outside. I just work on it a little bit at a time until I get it done and then I'll put this video up.